If we are legitimately concerned about global warming and also to maintain energy independence and security, there's no way for just one single energy type to be able to offset everything and supply us with the electricity we need at a, a reasonable price. So nuclear definitely has to be a big part of the mix. So most of the power reactors and also research reactors that we have uh, installed around the world are so-called thermal reactors. Uh, while uh, most, some of the most promising advanced uh, reactor concepts are so-called fast reactors. Fast reactors are much better than thermal reactors at resource utilization, and ultimately they can recycle the, the majority of the most hazardous part of the nuclear wastes, turning those wastes into a useful fuel. If you stack all the nuclear waste in the U.S. next to each other, that would only fill a 100-yard football field. So if you have been using advanced reactors to recycle some of the fuel that can be recycled, you'd still have some waste, but that would only go from the goal line to about the five yard line. This issue has brought our advanced reactor design into greater light because instead of putting the waste into ground somewhere, uh, we would just put it back into the reactor and continue using it as fuel. So since we have uh, all those resources that are already mined, the depleted uranium and also the what we call waste at the moment from the conventional reactor fuels, uh, we would not need uh, to mine uh, or even import any new uranium uh, for thousands of years if we had deployed a fast reactor fleet. So setting up a, a seminar like this where we can talk to the public and answer their questions in a way that's scientific would really help bridge that gap between uh, the people in the scientific community working on nuclear and, and the people in the public uh, who may not understand it completely but are, are eager to learn about it.